Today I'm showing you the usual stick machine. Yeah, the usual uh, clicky clicky hand motion detect finger. And today I will be showcasing more of these because obviously I bought extra too to uh, show you the very strange properties of these. So I got some Ethernet cables here, nothing dodgy happening just yet. So they just don't fall off, right? So I'm gonna just create a um, um, network, network uh, for my contraption here. So um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put something together. I'm gonna use all four of them uh, because I can, and I'm not really gonna worry much. The purpose of this is to just demonstrate that you can literally put it in any configuration. I'm going with the uh, ring network. <laughs> it's, it's obviously not a ring network, but uh, for argument's sake, I'm going to use a longer Ethernet cable for this one. Obviously now nothing happens because nothing's wired, just in case you're wondering. So I'm going to plug this one to the far far one okay cool nice and neat uh, okay okay yeah cool that looks like a total random mess very good and you can see all the wires do i need the other long one no probably not i'll just uh remove it from the ah no, leave it screw it and now this one i'm going to use the blue one because why not nothing special about this wire at all I'm gonna just plug it in here. So, quite a big mess. As you can tell, the things are just connected in random places. And, uh. Oh, I got one spare left. Oh, why not? Why not add an extra one? Totally sorry for that. I do apologize. I'm gonna do it a really strange way. I'm gonna add it this way and add one here so hopefully you can see all of it now and guess what works so if I unplug this one still works yeah the network can be the network can be closed but it doesn't have to uh, so obviously it's um, <laughs> redundancy <laughs> obviously not but uh, yeah, so if, for instance, I'm going to remove this one from the loop, so I'll have to remove this wire. So a rat chew this off. Yeah, still works. However, if I remove this one now, shouldn't work, shouldn't it? Because I just took off the connection, but it doesn't matter how I plug it back in, back in the show. So uh, yeah, I got uh, four of those to play with and you can create a closed network as in it's like creating a wire or not closed network. So I'm gonna just split the network in half. Yeah, it will not matter. This will still work as long as these two, wait, here, 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 here and here, yeah. As long as these two can see each other, it's gonna work. So it doesn't really matter how I connect these things at all. All irrelevant, this connect here, this connect totally. Get rid of this, this one, and this should still work. Because uh, I'm gonna remove all of these for now. Because everything is, um, yeah, connected together. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, magic of uh, creating your own wire, closed network, star network topology, any topology you like really. You could even, I don't know, let's, let's actually, uh, you could create a network like this for kids, I guess. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous on so many levels. So remove the long one, unless I'll need it for something else. So this is going to be like the root of everything. One here, one goes here, and one goes 
here so yeah this will also work but now if you want to go super crazy you can even connect these for kids just to close the um, network <laughs> um, obviously it doesn't change anything just uh, yeah this is probably a stupid way of connecting things uh, but yeah you can it you can tell how how ridiculous you can get with this and uh, yeah I think you got the general idea now uh, next thing will be to um, utilize this little RS-485 um, splitting and use the same wire for the Ethernet like TCP IP uh, stack like properly so use one wire um, to run them both obviously the other wire will run at 100 uh, megabits per second because uh, we're not using the uh, what you call it the economizer strategy whatever uh, yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching